In this tutorial, we show you how to use AudioDirector's powerful multi-track live recording and mixing tools to create harmonious audio. With AudioDirector, you can do advanced multi-track live recording with a wide array of musical instruments. Percussion, keyboard, acoustic and electric guitars, vocals, and so on. Before starting to do multi-track live recording, you can connect a microphone to your computer or use an external recording device with multiple recording ports. Depending on your specific musical needs, you can connect several microphones. For this tutorial, we will use two. Once you're ready, click the Mix tab. By default, AudioDirector displays three tracks from the top. You can add up to 99 tracks. To add a new track, right-click anywhere in the timeline below the third track and select Add Audio Track. A fourth audio track is automatically added. Alternatively, you can click the Add Track button with a musical note at the top. To remove an audio track, right-click at the beginning of the track and select Remove Audio Track. We need to do a multi-track live recording with four tracks. Tracks 1 and 2 will be the bass pre-recorded tracks we previously recorded, track 1 for drums, and track 2 for bass. Audio Director enables you to create, save, and import the most common audio formats. Tracks 3 and 4 will be the live recorded tracks, track 3 for keyboard, and track 4 for acoustic guitar. Now let's import our bass pre-recorded audio and drag them onto the tracks. Drums onto track 1 and bass onto track 2. We can listen to them individually. Let's first click the solo button of track 1 to listen only to the drums. Then deselect track 1 solo button and click the mute button of that same track to listen only to the bass on track 2. To listen to the two tracks at the same time, just deselect the track 1 mute button. Our bass pre-recorded tracks 1 and 2 are set. We already connected our computer to a recording device with two microphones. One for track 3 with keyboard and one for track 4 with acoustic guitar. We can now start our multi-track live recording. Enable tracks 3 and 4 for live recording. Select the drop-down menu, choose the microphone, click OK, then the Enable Track for Recording button. To the right of the recording button, there's a drop-down arrow for the countdown timer. For example, if you want your multi-track recording with all your tracks starting after 5 seconds to give the musicians time to grab their instruments, in the pop-up window, enter 5 seconds and then click OK. Musicians ready, let's click the record button. To stop the recording, simply click the record button again. We are now live recording two tracks over two pre-recorded tracks, but you can use many more, 6, 8, 10, and so on. You can also adjust the volume of each track. For example, we want the fourth track with acoustic guitar to start with a delicate fade in and end with a fade out. Click the volume button to activate its yellow timeline. Let's first add three more keyframes on the timeline. Roll over the yellow timeline and click to create a new keyframe. Then roll over the first and last keyframes. Drag down and release. If you want to remove a keyframe, roll over it, right click and select Remove Selected Keyframe. 